Maria, the Relay for Life is part of a worldwide movement in the fight against cancer. The event taking place right here at Maryless Intermediate School on May 3rd and 4th will happen on the field behind me as the community comes together, cancer patients, survivors, their loved ones, caregivers, and friends all to raise awareness and money to prevent cancer and find a cure. Now the event is 24 hours as a reminder that cancer never sleeps. Um, the American Cancer Society has worked with communities like Palos Verdes to hold the Relay for Life events to help with fundraising, um, which helps us fund our groundbreaking research so that we're able to provide um, medications, better treatments, and hopefully a cure for those cancer um, patients that are out there now. We're very excited to have it this year. So far we have about uh, probably about 12 teams lined up with different groups, um, including a team from one of the elementary schools and a team from here, along with some of the other groups that we've had in the past. Um, and one of the most important group of people that we have that come that may not be part of a group that, but show up are the survivors. And we really treasure their coming to this because it gives them inspiration and makes them feel very happy that they actually have survived cancer. The community can get involved in a lot of different ways. One is, well, for me, they could join a team and start a team. I would love that. Uh, we can use as many teams as possible. Um, but if they don't have the time or energy or commitment to do that, we are always looking for sponsors or people that would want to donate items to have at the event to help with fundraising. First and foremost, we want to be able to educate the community um, on cancer prevention, ways that they can stay healthy um, and get testing early. That's always the best thing to do. Early detection really helps. The money does come back to Palos Verdes as well as all the other communities and we can provide rides for people when they have to go to their treatments, um, wigs for women when they lose their hair, and just different um, things like that to help support the cancer patients and their families. For all of you that come to Relay for Life, you are going to meet this amazing sixth grade student here at Maryless Intermediate. It is Samara Kaplan. Not only is she incredible, but she is a cancer survivor and she's going to talk about her story. Tell us about your story. Well, it all started when I was walking funny at my house, like my feet were like off to the side. So we had to go to CHLA, Children's Hospital Los Angeles. They really helped. They saved my life. If you can just tell us a little bit more about what kind of cancer that you actually had. Um, I think it was in my, somewhere in my brain. So you had to stay in the hospital for a long time though, didn't you, at Children's? Yeah. Yeah, like it went like on and off and on and off. How do you feel today? I know you're a fast runner and you're going to be busy at Relay for Life. You're part of Team Mira Lest that yeah. day. Yeah, um, I think um, it's important that these all these kids and grown-ups are doing this to raise money for those who are watching this in the hospital right now. Come on down to Relay for Life. See you there. The organizers of the second annual Relay for Life right here at Maryless Intermediate is hoping the community will all come together and make this event a huge success. Right now, cancer does remain the second leading cause of death in this country, and it is hopeful that with events like this, we'll find a cure. Now, for more information, you can log on to relayforlife.org slash Back to you, Maria.